Imagine standing on a quiet shore, the waves lapping at your feet as you toss a message in a bottle into the vast endless ocean. You have no idea who will find it, or if it will ever be found at all. It's a leap of hope, a gesture of connection across time and distance. That's Voyager 1, launched in 1977, humanity's own message, in a bottle, cast not into water but into the cosmic ocean of space. It carries our dreams, our questions, and a snapshot of who we are. Voyager's journey is a testament to our curiosity and our longing to explore. It's a voyage not measured in years or miles but in generations and imagination, stretching far beyond the boundaries of our solar system. As of July 9, 2025, Voyager 1 is over 15 billion miles from Earth, a distance so vast it's almost impossible to comprehend, it's farther than any human-made object has ever traveled. A beam of light from the sun takes just 8 minutes to reach us here on Earth, but it takes more than 22 hours to reach Voyager. That's how far it has ventured into the unknown. When NASA sends a message, they must wait nearly two days for a reply, a conversation stretched across the void, testing the limits of patience and technology. Voyager 1 is farther from home than anything we've ever built. A lonely sentinel drifting in the silent cold expanse of interstellar space carrying our hopes with it. Its journey was made possible by a rare planetary alignment, a cosmic opportunity that comes only once every 176 years, allowing Voyager to visit multiple planets in a single grand tour. Using gravity assists, Voyager slingshotted from planet to planet, gaining speed and momentum with each flyby, propelled deeper into the unknown by the very worlds it came to study. Now, it has left the sun's protective bubble, the heliosphere, and is sailing through the space between stars, where no spacecraft has gone before. It's our first direct probe of this mysterious realm, tasting and listening to the universe in ways we can only imagine, sending back whispers from the edge of our solar system. Voyager is our scout, our pioneer, carrying the memories, music and greetings of Earth on an endless journey, a time capsule for any who might one day find it. It's a silent ambassador, venturing into the star-dusted darkness, representing all of humanity in the vastness of space. Our story, adrift in the cosmic sea, waiting perhaps for someone somewhere to discover it and know that we were here. Before its interstellar voyage, Voyager 1's mission was to explore the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. In 1979, it arrived at Jupiter, revealing a world of swirling storms and the Great Red Spot, a hurricane larger than Earth. Voyager discovered active volcanoes on Io, the first seen beyond Earth, and icy Europa, hinting at a hidden ocean. Using Jupiter's gravity, Voyager sped to Saturn in 1980, giving us our closest look at its rings, thousands of icy ringlets shaped by tiny shepherd moons. It peered through Titan's thick orange haze, finding an atmosphere rich in nitrogen and methane, echoing early Earth. These encounters weren't just flybys, they revolutionized our understanding of the outer solar system. Moons were alive, rings were dynamic, and the planets more complex than imagined. In a few months, Voyager rewrote the textbooks. It revealed the outer solar system's violence, beauty, and mystery. The fleeting glimpses changed our view of the cosmos forever. Voyager's discoveries still shape planetary science today. Years after its planetary tour, Carl Sagan, the renowned astronomer and science communicator, asked NASA to turn Voyager's camera back toward Earth. It was a bold and unusual request, one that would ultimately change how we see ourselves in the universe. On February 14, 1990, from nearly 4 billion miles away, Voyager captured the now famous image known as the pale blue dot. In that single frame, our entire world was reduced to a faint, almost invisible speck. In the photo, Earth is a tiny speck. A single pixel in a sunbeam, barely noticeable against the vastness of space. It's a humbling sight, one that forces us to confront the reality of our place in the cosmos. Sagan called it a profound lesson in perspective, a moment that invites us to reflect on our significance and our responsibilities. That dot is home. Everyone you love, every story ever told, every life that has ever existed, all contained on a mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Every joy, every sorrow, every discovery, every conflict, everything happens here. The pale blue dot reminds us of our true place, a small stage in a vast cosmic arena surrounded by endless darkness and possibility. It challenges our self-importance and the illusion of privilege in the universe, urging us to see beyond our daily concerns and ambitions. Our planet is a lonely speck in the cosmic dark. There's no help coming from elsewhere. We are, for now, utterly alone in the vastness, 
This image is a call to action, to cherish and protect our only home, to care for one another, and to safeguard the fragile world we all share. From out there, our divisions and conflicts vanish, the boundaries we draw seem meaningless, and the things that separate us fade away. The pale blue dot is a humbling unifying symbol of our shared destiny, a gentle reminder that we are all passengers on this tiny world, together. It's a silent rebuke to arrogance, and a reminder of our responsibility, to each other, to future generations, and to the only planet we've ever called home. For more than 40 years, Voyager 1 sent data faithfully from the edge of space, its faint signal crossing billions of miles carrying whispers from the unknown. But in late 2023, that steady stream of information suddenly stopped. The spacecraft once so reliable fell silent leaving scientists on Earth with only questions and static. The signal was still alive but the data it carried was nothing but gibberish, unreadable, as if Voyager was speaking in a new, indecipherable language. NASA's engineers faced a daunting challenge. How do you fix a computer 15 billion miles away, with a two-day round trip for every command? There's no way to send a repair crew, no chance for a hands-on fix. Diagnosing the problem was like performing surgery by remote with only fragments of information to guide them. Every clue precious, every error message a puzzle piece. After painstaking analysis they traced the issue to a failed memory chip in the flight data subsystem, a critical part of Voyager's brain. The lost code was essential for communication but the chip itself couldn't be repaired or replaced, not at such a distance. Ingeniously the team devised a workaround. They split the code into smaller pieces, carefully storing them in healthy memory sections, rewriting Voyager's software from afar. In April 2024, after months of planning and testing, they sent the first command and waited anxiously for a reply, knowing it would take nearly two days for any response. At last, Voyager's voice returned, clear and coherent. The fix had worked, and the spacecraft was alive once more. It was a triumph of ingenuity, teamwork and perseverance, a testament to human problem-solving at its best. The team refused to give up on their distant explorer, working late nights and early mornings to bring it back. Voyager's mission continued, a testament to human creativity and our relentless drive to explore the unknown. Even at the edge of the solar system we found a way to reconnect, a reminder that our reach and our curiosity truly know no bounds. As Voyager neared the edge of the solar system, scientists expected a gentle transition into interstellar space. Instead, Voyager found a wall of superheated plasma, a turbulent, frothing sea of charged particles. The solar wind slammed into the interstellar medium creating a cosmic traffic jam at the heliopause. This region, the heliosheath, was far hotter and more dynamic than predicted. The plasma's temperature soared, but its density was so low that Voyager passed through unharmed. This discovery changed our understanding of the solar system's boundary. The edge wasn't a line, but a complex, energetic frontier. Voyager's data revealed how our solar system interacts with the galaxy. Even at the edge, the universe surprised us. Voyager 1's journey is more than data and pictures. It's changed how we see ourselves. Each discovery, from Io's volcanoes to the plasma wall, expands our imagination and informs future exploration. Voyager is a pathfinder, teaching us how to navigate the unknown and survive in deep space. Its findings shape the design of new missions and deepen our understanding of Earth's weather and magnetic field. The solar system is a laboratory and Voyager is our most distant instrument. Its legacy is inspiration, fueling generations of scientists, engineers, and dreamers. Voyager's story is not just about a spacecraft but about a species daring to explore. It reminds us our potential is limited only by our curiosity and will. The journey matters because it shows what's possible when we reach for the stars. Voyager 1 is more than a machine. It's a symbol of humanity's curiosity and hope. Launched during global tension it carried the golden record music, greetings and sounds of Earth for any who might find it. The engineers who built it knew its journey would outlast them, they built for future generations. Voyager is an act of optimism, connecting us across time. As it drifts through the Milky Way its power will fade, but the craft will sail on for billions of years. It's a testament that we were here, that we dreamed and that we reached out into the darkness. Voyager is a monument to exploration not conflict. When you look at the night sky remember Voyager, our silent ambassador carrying our story into the endless cosmic night. It's a symbol of our relentless need to explore and understand. Voyager 1. Forever voyaging, forever hopeful.